today I have a hopefully short video which is actually replacing a USB plug. This is on just a little, I don't know, some sort of LED light. And I must admit I've never actually had to change one before. Normally they're just on sort of throwaway cords to printers and stuff, but I guess with so many things using them these days it was a matter of time before I'd have to. I think the two outer pins are the voltage ones. And what I found on eBay, J-Car do have some sort of, I think it's just like this thing, just a little metal thing you can use. Or at least that's what they show in the catalogue, I haven't actually looked in store. But I did find ones with these plastic covers which are much nicer. Looks like they just clip together. Not sure if you need to glue them or anything, but they're probably just sort of press fit. I thought they should look very similar to the originals. Shame it didn't come in white to match the original here, but... I guess one, as long as we hook the pins to the same pins, I don't actually know which one's positive or which one's negative, but it's just the 5 volts that would be using, I assume. And luckily this one isn't broken, so I should be able to just strip it. I think I did look up online at some stage, but that was quite a while ago. To see what the actual connections were, but I think it was the two outer pins. Hopefully we can still, I might have to even rip the metal off this a bit, if I can. Oh, those pliers are a bit big for the job. And the little ones are going to walk about. Sometimes you just have to rip these things up a bit. It's only rubbish anyway. So now we can see the pins in there. Geez, they're in poor condition. So this one got a bit of water damage or something. Yeah. I always put it on volts when I want continuity. So that's the outer pin on that side. Outer pin on that side, I guess one thing, one problem now is I hope this has got some sort of trace on this cable. Ugh. Can I see it on this though? Should have cut it where there was a more obvious trace. Oh, dearie me. Well, that was my first mistake. Oh no, there it is. I can see the writing, I think. It's very, very dim writing or faint. Oh, yeah, it is on that side. So that's the writing side. Don't really need to mark this just because it's got the writing on it. Just make sure we get the writing to the same place. Being an LED, it is polarized. And pretty much anything I assume hooked to USB is going to be run via a DC thing that's polarized. Should just be a matter of tinning these, tinning the ones in here. No, oh, seems I can't get my thumbnail in there now. Now. The black one goes to, yeah, it must be that side. Better double check, but I'm pretty sure they went to the side they were closest to. Now, now these are of course the opposite way around. We're soldering to the plastic face. So we want the, that one, I might just mark it even this is the side that our writing goes to. Good if I can get everything where I want it. Yeah, that's pretty good. At least you don't have to remember to slide the sheath over it or anything because those bits just clip together. That 
that's assuming this even fits down that little slot it's a pretty tiny slot so there's always going to be some hassle I guess you meant to bend those things over but not much point with this I don't think I guess we it might grip it a bit uh, not really this almost needs scrunching up a bit into a roundish form the figure 8 cable I think that'll fit in there, but the question is, how well does this hold together? Surprisingly well, given... But is that going to pop apart again? I think that's actually quite good. Wow. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say, that's going to pop off sooner or later. I think I might put a little bit of aerodite on there just to hold it together properly. Because these things are going to get a bit of abuse, but I'll go and plug it into a USB port on the computer, I think, and just make sure it works. Well, actually, plugging it into your computer is probably not a good idea, so I plugged it into the phone charger. Turns out this is an IKEA, I just noticed. Some sort of IKEA 3 watt at 5 volt lamp. So I think we can chuck that in the rubbish. I'll put a bit of 5 minute Aerodite in there, I think, just to glue it together pretty solidly. So that, that can't pop apart again easily because I know this is going to have a fairly tough life. Not with me, but with the owner. And her children and stuff. Which is how it ended up broken in the first place, no doubt. Yeah, it's good to see you can actually get decent little replacement plugs. Oh, this is only four connections. It's not like a big deal to actually do it. I guess the other two are like the serial lines, com lines, and that's and the other the outer ones are the power. If I just put a very small dog where those little pins go in. Try and keep it all on the inside. Yeah, there's a lump of dried aerodite there, I think. They don't cost much, these things, anyway. It's not like you're ever going to likely to pull it apart and need to resolder it or anything. I guess that could happen if the cord breaks or something, but easy enough to get another one. I might just put a little extra lump in there somewhere. No, there were two more there. But yeah, you just cut it off and start again, I think. Even though you probably could break this aerodite again if you really wanted to. But I might just wrap a bit of tape around that or something to let it while it sets. Probably should use a different colour so I remember to take it off, but I'll leave a bit sticking up in the air, I think. Just pull that nice and tight. Yeah, it should do the job. I think we can consider that one basically fixed. Another thing I did find and order at the same time is these, I think, yeah, that plugs in. You can get a USB to terminal block adapter. It's actually got five pins. Maybe one goes to the outer bit as an earth or something. No, it tells you here. S plus, D minus, D plus, minus. So is that data plus and minus? Plus or minus 5 volt S, is that shield or something? Let's beep it out, I guess. Yep. And the others, I assume none of those go to that. So that's got a handy little device as well. I thought I'll order a couple of those, just well, maybe they came as a pair anyway, but that'll be a handy thing if you ever need to plug into a something with a USB outlet on it and actually just measure it. You, know, you could hook a oscilloscope or something on to check if there's like some sort of serial data there. Check your 5 volts easily. So I thought they're another handy little thing to get as well since USB's such a common connector these days. But that's all that's really to that video, so thanks for watching.